Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the semifinal stages. 24 teams looking to secure the top 16 positions to get themselves to our regional finals. To the, the best of the best from anywhere, just purely online. All they had to do was play and participate, and you know they had a shot at qualifying. Adding that many different people with that many different strategies really just creates a lot of a lot of chaos. It's good chaos, like for the for the viewer, but for everyone else that's that's in there on the you know on the field, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's, it's, it's convoy. There's four vehicles riding straight at them. That's a terrifying sight. They're gonna crash. They're going gung ho into this gas station. There's no reason not to. El ganador de dicha final pasa automáticamente a Berlín, mientras que los otros dos van a una a un wild card. And the winner from that will uh, they're going to be very wealthy men afterwards. I am from Hawaii in a small town called Hilo. I moved to Utah, and my family is still in Hawaii, but they'll be up here very shortly. Hey, welcome to my home. Rolex. That's not my I got a carnage in the kitchen over there. Living with my team, I find it to be amazing. The, the good thing about it is that we're always with each other and we do everything together, whether it's uh, make breakfast or go out to the gym or even a scrimmage, you know, we're always next to each other and it gives a really good vibe. All right, and this right here, this is our game room. This is our home. Uh, we play every single match in here. We just study hard, but this is this is the room that all the magic happens. How we found out Space Station existed was Sean Doris was at PUBG Mobile Star Challenge in Dubai, and so we knew him from there and stuff. We knew he was wanting to pick up the team, and that's how we came together. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean Doris. We are from Space Station Gaming, North America. I grew up here in Utah, so we were in my basement and we were doing Snapchat and YouTube and all these other you know, social media businesses, and my fans were like, yo, your, your basement looks like a space station. We had like light up keyboards and monitors and big TVs and LED lights and all this stuff, and it's like, it looks like a space station. So we started calling it the space station, and that was like the first year, and then once it looked like it was actually working and we were gonna take this full time serious, then we got space station 2.0, which is where we're at right here. In this house, it's almost like living in a frat house because we just, we go at it and we get loud and we're, we're singing, we're screaming, we're, we're, just, we're just having a good time. As, you know, a time when we can because we, you know, not everybody gets this opportunity and we're trying to fully embrace it as much as we can. So we get, we get kind of, kind of wild in here. I was born in France, in Cras, and we lived there for just about five years until my dad moved here, and we all moved here, followed him for his job. We did all kind of grow up very into gaming. I mean, my father being who he is, you know, we've been growing up in the tech industry, and so we've always had video games as a part of our life. Like, I, at my own birth, almost didn't make it to the hospital because my dad was busy playing Crash Bandicoot and didn't want to drive my mom to the hospital to deliver me. <laughs> We all sort of went through an age where we played a lot of video games, but he has been very persistent with it, definitely molded it into his lifestyle. I had a really late start to the game. I was just doing everything I can, participating in all the custom rooms and small little tournaments I could get myself into to build my name. He's he had like a manager, he has a whole team that they work together, and they are all in different parts of the U.S. They're not on the same schedule, so they need to you know work together. So I really like that about it. Like, it is like statistically like how unlikely it was that I was gonna like meet up with Perk in Vainglory. And it happened very quickly. I just happened to do a, uh, do a tournament with Perk and we took the win with a lot of really good solid players in the lobbies. 
it was really, really exciting to be there and uh, support him and uh, see him winning. And what, what I really loved about it is that those guys, they were smiling and laughing the whole time. They were really having fun. We just won ESL land. <laughs> <laughs> Something that was interesting is that they, they seem to all know each other, even though they are probably the first time they met. But you could see they hung out before the tournaments, they were all in the same room, they chatted. And after each game, they just walked towards each other and, and chat. He became hella good at PUBG, so I started playing PUBG and just like, and then joined the team. Like, that's, I don't know, it's like super, how unlikely is it? Like, you know, an SSG are like trying to form the synthetic bonds, and you could see like how, like, I don't know, sometimes it fails, like on stream, they get hella mad at each other. I thought he was both. I thought he was both. No gun. I shot the guy with no gun. So, so why'd you focus on that guy then? If, we, if there's another guy with a gun. We're pulling up. I have a four times on my UMP. We're pulling up to the compound. I see the man run inside with no gun to the long building. I'm shooting at him. That's fine. I don't see anybody else. I shoot at the guy I see. Then you decide to drive to the right of the compound and stop the buggy. I just don't think crashing would have been a good idea with me with no gun because I couldn't help in that. Okay, scenario. okay. I never dreamed of being an esports athlete, honestly. I mean, whenever I was playing video games, I wasn't really watching streamers or I wasn't really keeping up with the competitive scene. No, so I just play to play, and like when I when I compete, I'm just I just have a very strong uh, will to win. So how? The oh, that pisses me off, bro. How many shots can man eat, bro? Him and Carnage always seem to argue, but it's just a family argument, you know. It's just how they get along sometimes. Carnage, he's probably the best gunner in North America. He is insane. He'll laser people from like 300 meters away. It's just crazy at some stuff he can do. And he's helped me out a lot since I've moved here. I mean, Carnage is a person, he's a, he's a big goof. He's a big goof. He acts hard and big, you know, but he's a big goof. Carnage. Hurry up! You guys <laughs> yeah, I was born and raised in Egypt, so you know we moved out here back in 2001. I, I believe it was first grade actually, it was my first year. I didn't know you know anyone out here. I didn't know English, so it's pretty tough for me to make friends at first. But once I started, you know, understanding the culture, understanding the language, it was uh, you know it was a perfect fit for me. I thought I was going to play a little bit. I want to get a little bit of practice. Today's the last day. Last day. These, these four, uh, they, they seem to open up and be super, super funny and hilarious and just act like brothers. So, it, so it's really easy to, to live with them. Living in the house with these guys is... I feel like it's definitely helped our gaming, help, helped our, our synergy and our chemistry and you know being able to be face to face whenever we make jokes or because I feel like that that helps a lot, like just with your team team bonding. Yo me uní al equipo fue formando un grupito de dominicanos que lo encontrábamos jugando. Yo siempre quería entrar al mejor clan de cualquier juego que yo jugaba. Conocí a Nicoleta en una partida random. Y yo vi que él era dominicano y jugaba bien. Y yo dije, mira, tú te quiero unir a mi equipo. Y de ahí empezó todo. Espinosa yo lo conocí porque él jugó dos o tres partidas conmigo y él vio mi potencial y me invitó al grupo de torneo. Y así se formó Revenant. Espinosa es nuestro líder. Nunca pensé que iba a llegar a jugar a nivel competitivo, aunque ese siempre ha sido mi sueño. Yo siento que cuando las personas trabajan bajo presión, pueden dar un 100% de sí. ¡Qué lindo! ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Ay, Dios mío! Y Nicoleta es como la mamá de los pollitos. Es como la que nos dice, tú tienes que hacer esto y nosotros tenemos que hacerlo. Tanker tiene el mismo rol que yo, que es atacante. Eh, es mi compañero, mi amigo, mi hermano. Él es muy sarcástico, o sea, estamos discutiendo y él salta con una risa así de la nada. Hasta la hora de cuando casi vamos a perder, siempre se está riendo, en todo momento. Sí, porque realmente, aunque yo relaje mucho en el juego, pero yo me no concentro sé. a la hora de matar. Vamos juntarnos el sábado. Para jugar y el domingo. Vamos juntos, tú dices. Sí, o sea, se puede hacer en mi casa. 
Porque si nosotros... ¿De cuánto tiene el lag? De 50 mega. Jugar competitivamente con el lag es una gran desventaja para nosotros. Nosotros, por ejemplo, jugamos con un pin de 150, MS. Ellos juegan con un pin de 20, 15 MS. Entonces eso es una ventaja para ellos. Nosotros no nos enfocamos en pelear frente a frente, un face to face contra el enemigo, sino que siempre tratamos de hacer una estrategia y de emboscar al enemigo y tomarlo por sorpresa. ¿Qué vamos a comer? Vamos. El sábado vamos a comer Space Station a la, a la parrilla. Y no va, y no va al barbecue. Eso es cosa de la vida. Loco. Le vamos a dar la mamacita a Space Station Game. <risa> Space Station. I mean, the biggest strategy we have to follow if we want to win tomorrow is uh, touching the circle in a timely fashion because it's quite different than a normal class. You're exposing way too much, sir. We've put in a lot of man hours, you know, looking specifically what do we do wrong, what can we do better, and, you know, I hope our work pays off. Obviously, I'll be very proud of him as well because I think it'll be really nice to, for him to see that he has, he's achieved something with all the efforts and all the hours that he's been putting in. Yo diría que en una competencia, vamos a decir, que todos tengamos la misma conexión, que sea tipo LAN, yo diría que nosotros seremos los mejores. I like to listen to music beforehand because Angry and I actually, when Angry puts I on out to some good karaoke. old beats, yeah, it, it really like uh, pumps karaoke. me up. What are we planning to do with the, the money if we win? Yeah. We're going to fund it all to Angry to become a full time rapper. <laughs> Mobile gaming, the advantage is mobile. <laughs> it is mobile. Like, I have personally won tournaments in a car ride. I won a tournament with Zute when he was sitting outside of Starbucks on their Wi Fi, right? Yo te estoy anticipando que llegue la final, porque realmente ya yo estoy ansioso por demostrarle a su equipo que Revenant sí puede ganar la final. These teams, they have waited a month to face each other once more. Now it's time to show which one of these three teams can make it to the finals. Space Station and Misfits to duke it on out. Space Station Gaming pick up yet another, put themselves in double digits on the kill feed. You can see Juicy, he's yeah. going for the rotation. This is really, really bold, straight over the top. It's Carnage is there. Oh, he goes for it. That's going to be Space Station Gaming taking it up. But Space Station Gaming, a dominant performance there. They understand the defilades and the terrain that Miramar offers. Yeah. And it was just clinical gameplay coming through from them. Misfits, all of a sudden, they have a real shot at this, John. Here comes the push around the corner. They're looking for the flush, but they need to get more. There's a player to his left, does he know it? Doesn't look like Pyra has spotted yet. Misfits showing their fragging ability here. One left. Single member, Seagut, last man standing. They don't know that he's behind the entire Misfit squad. Doesn't matter. Misfits too good. And this is the Misfits we saw dominate the group stages. Misfits first, 116. Lights out 114. So and close. Space Station in 103. Space Station Gaming, they're looking to take this top spot potentially here. You can see those technical issues getting sorted. It seems to have unleashed them upon North America. And Space Station Gaming just push on out into the rest of the circle. Wipe oh, yeah, look at them can. go! It is unreal stuff coming through from Space Station Gaming with 14 kills and a first place chicken dinner. Ooh. Here, Misfits if they can pass 40 points, I believe they might be in with a chance they of did. getting it done. Misfits. Are gonna get eliminated. Just jumps on in. Stylish stuff coming through, and you need to make these quick rotations as Misfits are gonna crash into Granha in just a second. Oh, dear. Here. Really difficult for all these teams in the Misfits. northern side. Misfits are eliminated by Granha there. Just completely sprayed down. That's disastrous. Disastrous for Misfits out in 10th position. They are having a very, very difficult day two here in the regional finals, and it just opens up more shots. And the Revenants, as Sixless tries to hold them out of the top three, taking spot shots. Oh, what I said, what I said. Tanker here. There's the spray coming through onto the Revenants here. They're not having a good time as Space Station Gaming holds them down. Well, Revenants getting pinned. So Tanker has to fall back, has to heal just a little bit. Takes the adrenaline shot. He's going to step up. It's going to pop him up to full health pretty quick. How is Cheeto still alive, by the way, in this river? Revenants know his location, but haven't been able to secure him. Yes, 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 y
Cheeto finally shows his face oh, no and gets way. thrown down in the water. And Espinosa, and he's going to be able so to throw it. Fragnate. The nade is going to come out. Could this be the Fragnate of he's Can't quite see Espinosa. Oh, they found there it. There he goes. Revenants put HP Summer out of their misery. And that is it. That's all she wrote for the regional finals here in North America. And it sure. is the best possible finale that we could have to a regional finals that has been so heavily contested. North America, who will represent you at Berlin? We have to find out. There it is, Space Station Gaming in first. Nos sentimos muy alegres, pero a la vez muy tristes, porque cuando vimos las puntuaciones y vimos que fueron solamente 10 puntos, pero fue una victoria moral. Gracias al buen desenvolvimiento que tuvimos, logramos eh, que un equipo, no sé decir, internacional, que se llaman los Asterion Esports, Misfits Gaming, where have they been today is the real question. Where are Misfits when they needed to perform the hardest not to be seen? What? Oh, we didn't make it. Oh. There was 13, 13 people left and we died in eighth place. Huh? performance from what we usually do and we just I don't know we just didn't play them to our normal capabilities not sure what happened and we just really felt through we put in so so much work to and it's just a shame when it really doesn't pay off at all um, 